Alleluia, he is risen. He is risen indeed, Alleluia. Happy Easter everyone and a special happy Easter on this most strange of years. We may not be gathering in church for one of the most joyful Sundays of our year, but we can still celebrate the wondrous news that Jesus Christ is risen. There is a huge amount I could talk about this year, especially as many of us are living through such difficult circumstances. I could talk about hope, hope being so important for those struggling with loved ones who have been ill or who passed away. I could talk about love and the wondrous outpouring of support that has been in our communities to support those who are sick, those who are vulnerable, and to make sure that no one is forgotten. I could talk about faith and the faithfulness of God to us as we endure through this difficult time. But today I want to talk about joy. Joy may be a really strange thing for us to be thinking about at this most difficult of times, but it's joy that's at the heart of the resurrection story. As Jesus rises from the dead and as Mary, who is at the point of distress, at the point of grief, at the point of crying, discovers and meets and recognises the risen Jesus Christ. Her weeping turns to joy. And I want to suggest today that this Easter, it is joy that we need to be reminded of. You may not be feeling very joyful at the moment. Maybe your household is a bit like ours, absolutely full on, as we try and mix childcare, homeschooling, a baby who doesn't really want to sleep, and trying to work from home and get all the chores done as well. Maybe you don't feel very joyful because you're stuck at home. You want to be outside in the sunshine, seeing friends, seeing family. You want life to be happening as normal. Maybe you're fe not feeling joyful because you're suffering from isolation. You're trapped in the house as you need to be shielded and protected and you're not sure how to spend your time. You might not be joyful because life is really full on as you work in a frontline service, trying to support and help everyone get through this crisis. But as a family here in the Christian household, we've been trying to reflect on moments of thankfulness and moments of joy. And I want to offer you three different moments of joy that we've experienced over the last few weeks. The first is the joy of remembering. And here I want to show you a clip of Theodore and I reenacting that glorious day last summer when England won the World Cup. It's the Cricket World Cup final and it's the final ball of the Super Over. New Zealand need two runs to win. If it only score one, England win. And it's Joffre Archer to bowl. Here he comes. Joffre Archer bowls. Cups on strike for New Zealand. He hits it out to the leg side. He's running for two. And Jason Roy runs in, he picks it up, he throws it to the stumps. Guptill's running for two, the throw comes in. Oh, we can win the World Cup! Yes! It wasn't meant to be part of my sermon at all, but another thing that brings us joy is seeing other people do silly things. So here I thought I'd give you a blooper of when Theodore try and I tried to reenact the final part of the World Cup victory. And instead of running in, I managed to fall into a bush. Enjoy. Doctor's running to the other end. Oh! <laughs> 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 Remembering is a wonderful gift that we have during tough times to be reminded of joy. For Mary, as she was living through the death of Jesus, 
It was the memory of all the important events of her life and her knowledge of him that kept her going, that brought her to the tomb that day, that gave her joy. Maybe at the moment you need to be challenged to remember something, some moment of joy in your past. Maybe it's that moment when you first knew the risen Jesus alive in your life. We get joy when we remember, but we also get joy when we win. A constant moment of getting through this time for us has been Mario Kart. And so here is a video of the triumph of beating your dad at Mario Kart. Where are you? You're so close. Oh, no, no. Come on. I'm gonna beat you. Oh no no no! Oh, oh yes! Oh, oh yes! A big reason why Easter Day is such a joyful day is because it's the day where God, where Jesus, proved to be triumphant. They won. And they won over the biggest enemy in all of human history. They won over death itself. For Mary, she may have been drawn to the tomb by the joy of her memory. But what made that day so precious, so joyful, so amazing was the joy of the triumph, the risen Jesus, being victorious over death itself. And for us, as we live in this time when the shadow of death seems to be over us so heavily, it's the joy of Jesus' triumph that gives us hope that there is so much more. We can find joy in our memory. We can find joy in our triumphs. But the last video I want to show you, probably my favourite, is we find simple joy in our relationships. Over the last few weeks, trust me, our family life hasn't looked like that all the time. There have been plenty of times as we've been living on top of each other where we're tired or we're stressed or we're annoyed with each other. But it's moments of joy like that which remind us why our relationships are so precious. For those of us who are living on top of each other, we need reminding that this is the core of what it means to love one, one another. For some of us, we may be isolated on our own and we need reminding when this crisis is over of the joy of those relationships restored, which so far are being held together by phone calls or video chats. Maybe for some of us, the relationships we have are really tough and really hard and it's hard to find any joy in them at all but for Mary in that moment where she sees what she who she presumes is the gardener suddenly say her name Mary as she replies Rabboni teacher it is joy Joy that that relationship that she thought was gone has been restored. And there we are at the heart of the Easter message of the Saviour, God's Son, who dies upon the cross, who wins the forgiveness of sins, who goes into death itself and is brought into new life to say to each one of us, your relationship with me is restored. And so this Easter, I want to challenge you to find joy. Maybe you can find joy as you remember. 
you remember something amazing, something good, something that has been important in your life. Maybe you can find joy as you remember the wonderful ways God has been there for you in the past. Maybe you need to be reminded of the joy of triumph, that the situation that we live in with the COVID-19 crisis is a drop in the bucket of God. It is an enemy that it will be defeated. And as Christ triumphed over dead, however bad the world seems, we can hold on to something better. It may be that you need to be reminded of the joy of relationships and particularly the joy of the relationship that flows out of God's love. There is nothing that can separate you from that love, one on the cross, forever held into eternity. God bless and happy Easter.